Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy XV here on Pastiche of Skin. Yes, we are continuing on through Chapter 2 of Final Fantasy XV. We are currently on our way to a base uh, that actually needs to be taken down before they block off our way of searching for more tombs filled with ancient mystical weapons that will power us up and make us the king that we ought to be rather than the king we currently are. Now, um, the tombs, uh, tombs essentially seem to be like the standard dungeons in this game where there's a, a few enemies to be found. The last one we were in was pretty creepy and it was intensely creepy with little goblins showing up out of nowhere. It was kind of fun to do. So we're going to actually move on to the next one uh, as soon as we can get past this blockade that the enemy have actually built I mean we're going to go in and murder everything in it but I'm just curious to know if uh, there was a need to power level to prepare for this it's going to be um, interesting She's to see. one of my father's best along with Dustin who's guarding my sister hmm. good to know we still have people we can count on outside the city wait did we just quickly teleport here that's pretty convenient That was kind of cool. I actually, in fact, instead of having to do the drive, I just quick ported here. So, hopefully, we didn't miss anything of the plot wise. Ooh, look at the drafts! Look at those! Aww. I ain't that cute. We're not gonna attack them yet. We're just gonna use this secret entrance to get ourselves into the enemy base. Oh, shit! Monica, hey! That was kind of fun. From here, we will split into two groups. Prince Noctis, please join the marshal up will ahead. Do. The rest of you will assist me in the what? diversionary effort. Just him and Kor? Alright. I don't know if I'm cool with that. Hmm. Well, I'll see you guys later. You go give them hell. We'll do the same on our end. I'd rather trust my friends, to be honest. They've been helpful, and there's more of them. Sneaky, sneaky times. Of course, probably going to teach us stealth mechanics to be able to go through an enemy base, take them out as quickly as possible, or I'm going to fuck it up and then have to fight the entire base and manage to survive. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, Core. Once we're in, we launch our ambush, pushing out while support pushes in, crushing the enemy from both sides. Well, apparently not sneaky then. We're just going to go and beat the shit out of everything from either side. <clears throat> Ready to rock and roll, big man? Nearly always there's some weird free shit right behind. Ah, useful. My potion. Shit! Was this meant to be a sneaky end? Because I don't know, I'm... I feel like I have probably... Misplaced this? Oh shit! It's a little easier with Kor around. Don't get used to it. I'll be gone before you know it. I'll enjoy it while I can. Yeah. Above us! Got it! Ah, oh, shit! Yeah, with him helping, it's good and convenient, but I am not making any progress by getting rid of my stasis. Come on! Ah! There it is! I'm 
wondering what the... I knew there was going to be that port point somewhere, but I just couldn't see it. Pissing me off. Oh, we need to go that way. Alright. Oh, the ones on there. The other guys are going to be doing just fine. Where are the ones that are fucking up? Well, I am the one that's fucking up. Stop jumping in front of doors. Mentality could prove yeah. your undoing, Highness. I imagine it would. Um, that was a shit show from beginning to end because I, I need to find a way to manage my MP better because I'm making use of it, but I'm not using it the right way. Wait, Jesus Christ, did I just wipe out through the base and then they're pushing the other side now? Holy crap! Ha! <laughs> Knocked! Marshal, it's good to see you again. All right on your end? Right as rain. The Nifs couldn't take their eyes off us. Thanks to you, we were spared their attention. Okay, here they come. I figured this was going to happen next. <laughs> Stay right where you are. Well, well, if it isn't Kor the Immortal. So, right. you survived the Citadel. But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend came to an end. <laughs> it looks like a pig. <laughs> Mecha pig. Mecha pig, mecha pig. Let me come in. <laughs> Super slow mo jump down. Alright, so guess what? Uh, we're gonna kick your ass. Don't get ahead of yourself, kid. I won't. Watch 
Down you go, motherfucker! <laughs> Impressive. Dead little piece of shit. Seeing you in action puts my mind at ease. It's clear I don't need to worry anymore. I'll return to watching the NIFs. Till next time. Yeah, Take thanks care. very much, Core. Him and the hunters are working together. Fair play. Fair play. Oh, nice. Nice big stack of EXP on that one. Pretty sure I'll jump at least a level with that. But yeah, we've taken down that base. Does that mean that we own this base now? Is this a hunter base? Open road. Ain't so bad out here once you get used to it. Still a lot we haven't seen though. And it makes sense. To do. I mean, the Declaration of War, they've actually yeah. directly attacked. Buck up. We're just getting started. Now we're going to be tracked. We're going to be found. <sighs> I mean, we, we killed everybody that was here. So that shouldn't be too bad. But unless they send a report back, which more than likely they did with their mechanical controls and stuff. Mm hmm. Makes me think. Makes me think. So, that was the end of Chapter 2. We played through it. That was my done and dusted. That's all I was going to go for. That's me. Done for this session. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This has been uh, at the very tail end of Chapter 2. Um, the way the kind of chapters balance themselves, the way events happen, um, I feel like I've actually got to kind of put a couple of these episodes together to kind of make them really feel really worthwhile. Um, chapters are flowing through quite comfortably. I don't know how many are in the game, but uh, at the end of Chapter 2, I feel like I've done a fair amount without actually doing any of the side mission stuff while still finding a reasonable and comfortable challenge. On normal mode, this isn't too bad. It's a, There's a moments where I'm feeling like I'm going to lose, but I can pull it out of the bag if I do a right combination of heals and attacks and some uh, teleporty hits. This is actually a very enjoyable, active game. Um, Final Fantasy XV is getting a thumbs up from me so far. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some bits that will annoy me further more, but um, because I've stopped doing any of the side questy bits, I'm actually enjoying the plot as it carries along. I just want to know more about this core guy because I don't remember him from Kingsglaive or any of the other kind of materials previously. So he seems to be a character that's of legend, that's important to the universe, but I don't know him. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Passage of Skin playing Final Fantasy XV on the opening night of Final Fantasy XV. It's available now. Eventually, to all the rest of you, you can all give it a try if you want to give it a try. Um, I only got to pick it up today as well, same as everybody else. So if you liked, enjoyed what you were watching today, you can hit the button up here. And that allows you to subscribe to the channel, and that will uh, let you see everything that will come up as it comes up. And over here on the side here, these two things that are popping up, or the three things, or whatever it is I decide to put up, it's all the previous videos that I've been working on recently that you can check out. So if you feel like it, click on one of those, or click on one of those, or click on the wee thumb button to say that you like, and comment underneath, so if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing you all guys in another episode, so I'll speak to you very soon, and see you then. Bye-bye!